This is the Manfrotto 502 video fluid tripod head. I really like this head. Um, it's been a great investment, um, all except for one thing. Uh, this video head has a counterbalance. Um, obviously, that is designed for larger, heavy cameras. Um, my cameras are not so large and heavy. Um, they're not small by any stretch of the imagination, um, but the counterbalance in this system, um, I think was really geared more for people with, uh, large, uh, professional cameras, um, and not so much my prosumer level cameras. Um, so that presented a problem. And of course this is really of no fault of this video head real, uh, in of itself. Um, I probably overbought uh, when it came to this tripod head. Uh, but I was still looking for a solution. Um, now, of course, um, you, know, you can mess around with uh, the dry control here and tighten it up, and that helps some. Um, you can also uh, you know, put your camera farther uh, up front um, on the head, and that can help some. Um, but I was still fighting with it. And so I was looking for a solution, and I've found one that I've been using uh, pretty much uh, since day one with this head, and it works great for, uh, for my cameras. All right, so we're going to do a partial teardown of this uh, video head. Um, this most certainly would probably void your warranty. That is, if they can tell you've been into it. Um, if you're careful, they shouldn't be able to tell. Um, and this is 100% reversible and only takes a couple of tools. Um, you're just going to need uh, two Allen wrenches, a 4mm and a 2.5mm. That's it. Um, I found it useful to have actual Allen wrenches for uh, breaking loose the, uh, the screws initially and um, then I found it uh, useful to use a standard screwdriver with the uh, Allen wrench style heads uh, like the ones found in this iFixit kit. Um, to back them out the rest of the way. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to uh, loosen these four screws here on the flat plate up top. Um, so I'm going to break them loose with an Allen wrench. And then I've got this screwdriver here that will quickly back them out with. And I've currently got my camera on a dinky little $20 Walmart special tripod and I'm praying it doesn't fall over. All right, so well now we're going to carefully remove um, the top plate. And just to make it simple, um, I would watch this little release here and try to uh, make sure that it doesn't um, come out because um, it took me a little while to figure out exactly how it goes back in. So I'm going to carefully pull this off so you can see how it's positioned. You know, once you remove that top plate, um, there's nothing holding this from just falling out. Um, but that's how that's positioned. If it does happen to fall out on you, um, the R is positioned to the back of the head um, and upward, and it just sits in uh, like that. Uh, so that's the, really the only little gotcha here. And now you can see um, that this is moving freely. Turn the head around here, and we're going to take this and unscrew it entirely. just comes out like that and there's a little um, washer I guess you call it some sort of metal piece there that you'll want to watch for and then this simply pulls off and 
and you can see we've got another flat washer here, not sure what it's made of, some sort of papery substance, and uh, here's the counterbalance spring. So this is what we're going to be removing, and in order to release the counterbalance spring, um, there is another small uh, Allen screw right here in the back. This is the uh, 2.5 millimeter Allen. And there goes that piece I was warning you about. And now, if we rotate this back around, this spring will pull right out. And that's it. And so now we'll just reassemble it. I'm going to go ahead and put this screw back in here so I don't lose it if I ever want to reinstall the counterbalance spring. And we'll go ahead and stick this back on here where it fell off. So this will line right back up. Don't forget that washer in this one. And now you're going to want to try to um, line up these two sides as best as you can and make sure that this goes on the correct way. This is going to be on the right side. Go ahead and get these started. You can see I'm not quite even here, so we'll try to just even it up best we can so that those screws go in nice and straight. Start them with the screwdriver and I'll snug them up with the Allen wrench. And that's it. Um, now you can still adjust the tension um, on both sides here. All that still functions um, as it normally would, uh, but you're no longer fighting the spring and fighting that counterbalance. So for my use, that's ideal, and I've had much better uh, results with my smaller cameras on this head. Um, so. Uh, I like uh, just being able to set it and it stays exactly where I put it. And um, e with the other camera, no matter how much, uh, or with the, with the counterbalance spring in there, no matter how much adjustments I did, even if I could get it not to spring up entirely, uh, when I would set it at the angle I wanted, um, especially during live video, you could always see a little bit of a, a bounce where it would fight and go back up a little bit. Um, so this solved the problem for me. Well guys, that about does it for this video. I hope it was useful to you. If you would consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. And click that like button if this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. <laughs>